Now weather with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. We're over here to start this thing off right now, though. Good news, our severe weather out of this area for now, mm -hmm. right? However, new this midday, we now know a tornado touched down in Lawrence County last night. That was near County Road 2155 around 8 p.m., so about two miles southeast of Hobart, right? Yes, the National Weather Service was out there this morning to survey the damage, and they confirmed that it was an EF1 tornado with estimated peak winds of 95 miles per hour, wow. a path length of uh, one mile and 75 yards wide. Uh, so numerous trees just like this one were destroyed. The National Weather Service also reports four outbuildings, an irrigation system and two ski bo boats were destroyed. There was minor damage to some canoes. Thankfully, no injuries or fatalities to report. Uh, again, if we show you what the system actually looks like here, this is what we had last night uh, was this front that came through. Clearly, it's well to our east right now. We're in a dry slot. Uh, we're seeing some of that clearing, but the cloud cover is making its way around. Uh, the rainfall reports uh, were about an inch for a lot of the area. Some of these spots in the blue, about a half an inch. Again, you see more of these storm reports are getting populated onto the map because the National Weather Service is out there surveying the damage. So one of the reports uh, was near Grove Spring, large tree limbs down at a residence just near there. This is the details of that tornado report. Again, in Lawrence County, an EF1 touched down and created that damage on the trees and tore apart some of those outbuildings as well. This is what the radar looked like at the time, which is why they were able to confirm earlier on that it was a, the, a tornado that touched down. This is that debris signature um, that shows us that there was some debris or damage flying around in the area. So that they were able to see at 8 o'clock last night, and uh, they determined the strength of that tornado uh, just within the last half hour, actually. That tree down, again, this was two miles south of Mount Vernon, and uh, some of the buildings that were torn apart as well. This one it looks like it's made out of some metal and wood, also two miles south of Mount Vernon. So what we're seeing from this front right now is some of that wraparound cloud moisture. You can see these clouds are making it to that Highway 65 corridor so far. Some of that light rain trying to get in, and we'll see more of that as we head through the afternoon. It's the classic comma cloud shape. You can see the low with a wraparound of the front. Um, we're clear from the cold front right now. There are blizzard conditions up here. Very strong winds, very heavy snow. We're not going to see blizzard conditions, but we'll get some of that tail end of that comma coming into the Ozarks as we head through the day. Now, what's also happening with this is the temperature plunge. You can see these much warmer temperatures in the 60s to the east, but to the west, we've got these 30s that are going to also start to wrap around with the clouds and the precipitation. Temperatures cooling. There's that blizzard warning uh, through Nebraska and Iowa this morning. So temperatures will stay kind of steady as we head through the day, if not fall off a bit. We're looking at these temperatures in the low to uh, lower 40s as we head through the afternoon, getting into the 30s on the overnight tonight. Winds will stay gusty. We're already gusting up towards 35 to 40 miles per hour, and we'll continue to do that as we head through the afternoon and evening. We'll uh, start to tap into some more cloud cover. We'll keep the gusty winds, and then some of that light rain comes in by this evening and could mix with some snow by tonight. So let's time this out for you. Again, we'll start to tap in to some more of that wraparound moisture. We'll get some of that light rain to filter through this afternoon and evening. Temperatures in the 40s. As these temperatures plummet into the 30s, that's where we can get some more snowflakes to mix in, possibly some uh, freezing rain as well. Uh, there might be some slick spots. Either way, little to no accumulation. We'll probably wrap up the precipitation by midnight, clearing skies after that. A ton of sunshine out there tomorrow with temperatures getting back into the low to mid 40s. Breezy winds. This is going to be the other story for today. We'll keep this uh, south and west wind gusting up to 30 to 40 miles per hour as we head through the day. It's going to shift to the north and west by tonight and continuing to stay gusty on the overnight and into tomorrow as well. Tomorrow might take a little bit more of a back seat. We'll see some gusts up to uh, 20 miles per hour as we head through our Tuesday. 42 degrees today, windy with falling temperatures. That light rain could come through late as uh, we head through the afternoon. 28 on the overnight, some snow mixes in. We still keep a breezy, gusty wind. 44 tomorrow, a steady breeze and mostly sunny skies. We'll keep the sunshine through Thursday. Temperatures up towards 60 degrees. Next cold front comes Friday into Saturday.